Do you often feel overwhelmed in your life? Are you struggling with productivity or lack of focus? If so, it may be worthwhile to observe your environment and figure out how it contributes to your overall well-being. We shape our environment, but our environment shapes us right back. In this video, we'll take a look at how you can shape your environment to lead a life with more focus, clarity, and purpose. We'll do this by studying the philosophy of minimalism. Part 1. What is minimalism? Minimalism is a lifestyle and philosophy that emphasizes simplicity, intentionality, and a focus on the essentials. It involves consciously choosing to live with fewer material possessions, decluttering your environment, and prioritizing experiences, relationships, and personal growth over the acclimation of material goods. Contrary to belief, minimalism is not about giving away your worldly possessions and opting out of society to live in the woods. Instead, it's a way of living that makes you more deliberate in the things you own. In other words, it's about only having things that add value to your life. Part 2. The Science Behind Minimalism Multiple studies have found that having a lot of material possessions does not correlate with overall life satisfaction. We all need material things to survive on this world, such as food, clothing, and shelter. But beyond a certain point, having more stuff does not equate to more happiness. This is because of a concept known as the hedonic treadmill. Simply put, a hedonic treadmill means that your baseline level of happiness always returns to the same level. In one study, researchers interviewed a number of lottery winners a year after they've won a life-changing amount of money. After a while, the lottery winners didn't report a significantly higher level of happiness compared to other people. In other words, their happiness reverted back to baseline levels. Minimalism is all about disregarding the need to accumulate more material possessions. Buying a fancy new car or a cool new apartment may make you happy for a while, but after a while, it won't contribute to your overall life satisfaction due to the hedonic treadmill. The solution is to realize that the treadmill exists and to learn to let go of your built-in need to accumulate more stuff. Again, this doesn't mean getting rid of all your material possessions. It simply means being more deliberate with the things you do own. You can try this as an experiment. Look around your room and ask yourself, does a certain object add value to your life or is it just collecting dust? You'd be surprised by how much stuff you don't even use or have any need for. Just as we might need to declutter our physical spaces, sometimes our minds also require a refresh and decluttering. That's where today's sponsor, BetterHelp, comes in. BetterHelp has a powerful mission to make therapy more accessible and affordable. BetterHelp operates online and can connect you with a professional therapist in just a few days simply by filling out a short questionnaire. Visit BetterHelp.com slash improvement pill for 10% off your first month. Finding the right therapist can be like finding the right training program. Sometimes you need to switch it up to get the best results. With BetterHelp, you can easily change therapists for free without stressing about insurance or networks. Most people spend hours in the gym every week, so why not give your mind the same kind of attention? Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash improvement pill to start your mental decluttering journey. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Now, let's have a look into how minimalism and mental health can go hand in hand. Part 3. Minimalism and Mental Health Multiple studies have shown that a cluttered environment, both at home and in workspaces, can have a negative impact on your mental health. People with hoarding disorders have been found to have elevated levels of anxiety and are more prone to depression. A cluttered workspace can also negatively impact your productivity. Having a lot of stuff lying around can cause feelings of being overwhelmed and a lack of control. In other words, a cluttered environment can be a drain on your mental energy which makes it harder for you to focus and be productive. Getting rid of unnecessary stuff can help facilitate a feeling of freedom and agency. In other words, by making a conscious decision to let go of unwanted things, you're symbolically letting go of all the emotional burdens attached to the thing itself. For example, getting rid of the things your ex-girlfriend gave you can help you get over a breakup sooner. For most people, the problem isn't necessarily in having too much stuff, but the relationship and mental associations we have with the stuff. By decluttering your home, you'll realize that only a few items are really essential and add value to your life. The rest is just taking up space. Part 4. Minimalism and Physical Health While minimalism primarily focuses on decluttering your environments, it can contribute to your physical health as well. Organizing your physical space makes it easier to maintain cleanliness and hygiene. A clean environment reduces the acclimation of dust, allergens, and other potential health hazards. An uncluttered space is also easier to clean, which means you can dedicate more time to self-care and activities that bring you joy. Cleaning your bedroom also promotes better sleep. Since bedrooms are our personal spaces, most people use them as storage, so bedrooms are usually the most cluttered rooms in the house. 
Not surprisingly, people with symptoms of hoarding disorder are more likely to develop a number of health problems, like cardiovascular disease and sleep apnea. In a 2022 study, researchers surveyed 20,000 people about their sleep quality. 12% of the participants exhibited some sort of hoarding behavior. The participants with hoarding symptoms were two to five times more likely to have problems with insomnia than the participants who exhibited no hoarding symptoms. By keeping your bedroom free of clutter, you can create a calm and peaceful space that will help your sleep quality. Good sleep is essential for physical health and your overall well-being. You can also apply the minimalist mindset to your diet. Focusing on simple, home-cooked meals with only a few basic ingredients is much healthier than ordering takeout. It's also easier on your wallet, which is a nice bonus. To sum things up, look around you and ask yourself if the things you own truly add value to your life. By consciously getting rid of the things that don't matter, hopefully you'll come to realize that only a few things in life are truly essential. I hope these tips are helpful. If you want to learn more about minimalism, I suggest checking out the Minimalism documentary by The Minimalists, which is now on YouTube for free. Besides that, guys, stay tuned.